Okay. Sacred Armor of Angie Red. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. No, because I don't cheat. No, because I don't cheat. No, because I don't cheat. You know what you're doing, you can finish this game in around eight minutes. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, damn it. Okay. Okay. I don't know why it works if you. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. Alright, that's right. I'm almost at the armor, so I'll be fine. Because once I get in the armor, I can get my, uh... <laughs> hey, how's Angel? Uh, once I get in the armor, I can get my health back. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to wait for my health to go up because I am definitely going to need it. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Never had the original, but apparently it came with a comic. Nope. I'm not on Vice, mate. I'm on a real 64. So, uh, unfortunately, ah, oh, damn it. So, unfortunately, I can't, um, ah, oh, no, ah, so, unfortunately, I can't actually make it go quicker. This is the horrible problem I've got. Oh, actually, I know how much health I've got now, so I could have just... Yep, real hardware, but a cheat. I've actually got the uh, ultimate cartridge, so all my software is on uh, an SD. Breadbox. If you, if you saw it, yeah, sorry. So old school proper. Which way does it go? There you go. How am I supposed to? Hey, Rip. Oh, 
Okay, Foxster, how you going? Oh, now, okay. Ah, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to end up dying. Ah. Right. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh. damn it. That's right. It's got extra lives, right? Uh, I have to be in the architect uh... Okay. Uh, ah, yeah. oh, damn it, it's one of those. Oh no. Oh no. Did you ever try to emulate some Amiga CD32? No. Ah. Um, I have not tried. Um, I would say, I don't know how easy CD32 games are to, to find. I've never tried. Um, the ROMs would be a specific ROM thing, I imagine. So, ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, CD32 was just a, a 1200 essentially, though the CD32 did have the chip that did the um, chunky to bit plane conversion. Get up there. Do you want the ROMs? Ah, oh, that's all right. I'm better. I have to get a real Amiga. But if I want to do a real Amiga properly, I'll have to get like a scan doubler and stuff. And a proper capture system.
This is not going well for me. G'day. Oh, where am I supposed to go? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Um, because there's a... Ah, damn it. Because there's a gun you can get. Oh, there, oh, no, that's not it. Damn. All right, I'm just going to have to sacrifice. Uh-oh. Past those shield bits. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm just That's it. Now the arm's out of energy, and I don't know where to go. No, I think I have stuffed this game up because now the armor is there, and I've got no. again. Oh, look at that first shot. Yep. I'm doing much better this time around. Don't know where the gun is. There's a gun you can get, so armor can shoot. Ah, oh, always missed that jump. Ah. Oh. How is everyone? At whatever time zone you're in at the moment, it's night time for me. It is nine o'clock. Two o'clock. So you are six, no wait, seven hours away from me. So you must be not UK or just east of the UK. Ah, oh, that was, I've done a silly mistake. Oh no. Oh well. Three o'clock, so it's all the afternoon for everyone. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, now I understand why that one. Uh, 
that's all right. I'll just do this. The armor heals me up. This. Oh, so that's where that goes. All right, so. Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> oh, that's all right. Hmm. I know, right? It's a real headache. I was wondering why that one was so easy to, because you just throw a rock at the bullet and then it stops shooting. But now I figured why, because instant death. Ah, oh, there it is. That's what I'm after. Inconvenient place that I have to go, so it's going to be near that. Oh, of course. Okay, good thing they put energy right there. It's up. It's. Uh, I don't think it is up. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Dear, dear. I have this energy. Oh, good. Look at that. Help that I go right in the middle there. No, that's too much. Ah, oh. still two more things I have to get. One is the uh oh, oh no, that's it. That's game. But I can't rejuvenate the armor. Alright. One more and then I'll try another game. Yeah. Oh, look at that. See, fresh shot again. I don't know why I'm doing that because I'll be fine.
No, actually. I also do have the other kind of Commodore 64 as well, which is probably Commodore 64 C, which is got the newer sound chip in it, so that's better for demo versions now. So I reckon the old Sid just sounds better. CD TV, that's going back. I did actually have the Mega 500 with the um, CD ROM attachment. Yeah, when I when I originally had a back in the day, I actually had a Commodore One Two Eight, which is fantastic because it had the um, like this Commodore like this actually one. It's it's got the Super Video had the Super Video output, and it had the old SID chip. At least I'm getting better at getting these boots. Who can remember how to get to that gun bit again? This way, wasn't it? Ah, doesn't matter. Just... Was it actually was down that way? Oh no, it wasn't that way. Stuffed it again. Okay, it was would have been a, through a serial port or something, I'm betting, which would have been slow. Oh, is it just that way? Alright, I better remember that last time. Alright, next time. Alright. This is going to be bad for me. Yeah, that would have been super slow. Yeah, I don't think the Commodore, uh, Commodore 64, I don't think the Amiga could keep up with that. I remember running, um, bulletin board uh used to have a modem and connect to a bulletin board like 14400 was um the speed that the modems would do but i don't imagine a just run for it Gonna... 
Okay, we good. Uh, how am I supposed to? Okay, now there's supposed to be one last thing I'm supposed to get before I can go into the reactor. But I don't know what. But I could never go higher than 9600, that's weird. for change. I am really playing on a Commodore 64. This is the Commodore 64 that I am really playing on. I think this is the way to the reactor. I know, right? It is awesome. I'm gonna have to go back down this way. So I haven't picked that. There we go. Oh, that's a terrible thing. Ah, no, I do have one though. There is a there is a game called. Ah, oh, that's it. That's game. There is a game called um, Sensitive that is only available on cassette. Let's see. I won't do Turrican. I already beat it. Let's have a look. See what else we got. Shuttle Beast. No. What should I play? What should I play? You know, I've never played Chips Challenge. Bruce Lee. I could play Bruce Lee if you want. I'd have to um transfer it. All right. Let me get hold of Bruce Lee. Ah. <clears throat> We'll see how it goes. Right. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. I got bubble wobble, I should probably play that too. Alright, Bruce Lee, where it be R I U. Mm 
Ooh, there's a tape one. I'm going to play the tape version. Oh, that's a tape one too. That's no good. Here we go. Oh, I've got to plug in my uh, uh, headphones. My wife was busy doing it, so I could put this in, and there you go. Look, just in case you want authentic sounds. <sighs> Only problem now is the coming out of winter, and so it's getting a bit hot. What's the temperature at the moment? Okay, it's currently nine o'clock at night, and it's twenty-six degrees. Fantastic. Celsius. Could be worse, I could be up at Port Headland or something. I think it's 37 degrees at night. <sighs> the good old days when you had to wait a long time for games to load. Gives you the chance to talk. You wanted me to load it off tape. Though, that being said, tapes were kind of cool because they often played music and stuff while it was loading. You had the screen go line by line, it was loading. I still have to get through pool radiance at some point as well. Doctor Strange bobblehead. Right, I have no idea what I actually supposed to do in this game. Oh, it's one of these ones. I had a um. Ha ha. Ha ha. Don't actually know what you're supposed to do in this game. Oh, jumping is different. Oh, I'm supposed to click these, am I? All right. It's <laughs> great. I can just do this massive flunk. Oh no, he flunked me. Take that, you green dude. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, oh there we go. Whoa. He jumps he jumps a bit funny. I think I think the, the flying kick's a bit OP, right? Watch it. Oh what? Oh he used the Whoa. See, this green guy's got to watch out because he, he's got a flying kick too, so that's why he's so OP. Oh. Oh, I should actually see if I can get hold of um, modern Commodore 64 game. Oh, look, it's so good, it takes both of them out at the same time. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh no. I don't have any luck. I th I think that's like I finished the game, right? Oh man. I wonder if my Call of 64's gone goes faulty because no, because it doesn't stuff up on creatures. This happened to me in Turrican too. I was like at the last boss. Last boss. And um and everybody crashed. Right. I'll do chip challenge. I've never played that. Yeah, Turrican 2 played what it was two hours to get through to it. There's more to the game. Is there more to the game? Oh, I should load it up again. All right, I'll load it up again. I'll um, actually let's see if I can. We'll see, we'll see how lucky I was and see if it was just a random, well, unlucky, depending on your point of view. Just trying to think what other Call of 64 games there are. Last Ninja, Creatures, Creatures 2, Tarakin 2. Trying to think what other. I've got Pool of Radiance. That's like a Dungeons and Dragons RPG sort of thing. My, fir my first RPG on a computer, I think it was. Um, which I actually have an original copy of. And plus whatever we got in the shed, Ghostbusters. Ooh, I should get Ghostbusters. My favourite Commodore 64 game probably would have been Creatures, Creatures 2. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Paradroid. Evelyn Ranger. I wonder what came out first. 
Metal Gear or Airborne Ranger? Monty on the run. Now, I know Monty on the run because of the tune that Rob Hubbard, um, I've never actually played Monty on the run, but I know the tune from it because he based it off a, a radio series, a radio serial series um, called, I can't remember what it was. But the title track it was called The Devil's Gallop. <sighs> Flying kick is so OP. Especially when you can do this. Oh, ow, he hit me. Who needs to worry about the bloody uh, dragon punch when you got Bruce Lee's flying kick? <laughs> oh wow, they hurt each other when they. Uh oh. There you go. Alright, I didn't. Hasn't crashed yet. Touch wood. Oh, one kick and I take him down. Oh, that, did he take falling damage? Maybe that's it. Ah. So the green guy never follows you. Ow. He punches. Uh oh. Oh. Ah, oh, I think he just. The ninja just hit him. Ow. Never played those games, but I knew the music from them. Oh, secret little thing. Okay. Yep. Oh wow. Ow. I like this game because the enemies actually um, can hit each other and ow. Ah, <laughs> oh, he can't get me. Ah, oh, secret door. Okay, I'm guessing I don't need to fall on the spikes. That'd be instant death, right? Ah, there you go. Ah, and they blink. Oh, now I've got to somehow. I oh, should have went. Oh. Am I going to time it perfectly? I bet you I am. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
Game's got it in for me. Oh. Stride Ships Challenge. Oh, no. I should actually play creatures. I'll do Chips Challenge. I know. Bad luck or what, hey? <clears throat> yeah, I think I think when it when it uh, crashes that often on me, I think it's trying to tell me something. Ooh. No, because I will not cheat. Oh, wow. I remember these loading screens. Oh. Animated. Ah. Oh. Alina smiles. Chip, she says. If you finish the challenge, you can join our computer club at Bitbusters. Chip has been a distant admirer of Melina for a long time. Chip crunches his bag of pretzels and gulps. Oh, do it! Please enter the code of level or press fire to begin. Right. What am I supposed to do? So I, oh, I get a key. That lets me open the blue door. Oh, I think I'm supposed to get all the chips. Okay. Okay. Alright, and if I put the wrong one, that would have... Been the wrong thing to do, definitely. Okay, so this is just a basic sort of level. To water to make dirt, watch out for monsters. Oh, and I've just stuffed it. here then. Hmm. If I can't push one block onto another block. to do that but it won't let me 
push the block onto there again, so how could I possibly ever make... Ah, oh, alright, you gotta walk on it, so... Alright. Okay. I figured that out. Chip up there. Alright. Sure. Boulder dash as well. You've always been boulder dash. Not sure if I like this music though. Magnet for force force. Heat shield for fire. Water shield for water. Sweets for ice. Was that like a water shield? Controls the tanks, the green button toggles walls, sometimes things are hidden under blocks. I'm assuming that's a monster. Ah, oh, right, okay. This is a game that could be remade nowadays if it hasn't already been remade. Hopefully with a bit of soundtrack. Okay. It reckons stuff would be him under blocks. All the blocks are there. Oh. Huh. I don't use the center one. I really am not a fan of the soundtrack. So far, the red button controls the clone machine. The brown button opens traps. Okay, that's not a good thing. Clone machine. Was that thing that was setting the trap off? 
Okay. They look like bombs. Stuck. Oh no. What am I supposed to do when I'm stuck? Okay, it doesn't tell Oh, good, I can turn that music off. Go on. Uh what am I supposed to do when I'm stuck? I think it's the actual Pad I'm stuck on. Hmm. How do I quit out of the game? There we go. Oh. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Blue walls may be fake. Some invisible walls never appear. They can be extra chips. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't like this because this really isn't a puzzle you figure out. It's just you have to wander around until you actually find they want you to do. It truly really is a bit like. Okay. How do I get? Oh, there may be extra chips. I get it. There may be chips you can't get. Sure. What's that? I don't know what that is. Teleports can be directional. The thief takes your tools. New walls can appear under you. I'm guessing that's the thief. So. Oh, that's the teleporter. Okay. And that's the thief. I don't want to go to him. Because he'll nick stuff. Oh, no. Okay, that's no good. Right, so teleport is the only place I can go. Uh, that's a fire shield. That is a water shield. Oh no, because if I go there, he's going to nick me stuff. Hmm. Oh, hang on, I'm going to worry because I've got... Okay. Oh, and I lost me... I lost me water shield. All right. Okay. So I don't want the fire and I don't want the water shield at the same time because if I do one, I can't do the other. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, figured that one out. Easy. Monsters are stopped by dirt and gravel. Ah, uh, right, okay, but if I step on the dirt, it's going to make a path, and he's, it is going to be able to get me. Okay. All sort of easy-ish at the moment. Oh wow, it's a game that loads. Is there a secret now? No okay. Uh oh. Whoop. Mm, I don't have. So. Make sure I don't stuff it up. Like, um, ah, was it showing me the whole level? thinking that was going to happen. Very nice of this computer club to have uh, a challenge that's like a whole bunch of death traps.
Okay. Don't have a red key or anything. I've got a blue. Okay. Alright, so this seems fairly simple. Hmm. And I just have to have line. Yeah. Just have to have faith. Oh. Okay, where'd I go? There's a lot of bugs there. I don't think I can do it without. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Easy. What were you worried about? Bombs, hey. Yeah, I didn't fall for their tricks. Now though, how am I supposed to get to? Maybe if I explore a little bit more. Ah. Okay, well that was not really too hard, but what can I do about those bombs? Uh, if I go that way, there's a strong likelihood disappear there. There's a strong likelihood I will. Ah, uh, very hidden. You know, and if it's there, I've just blocked it off. All right.
buttons just have to go back to the button every time. Oh, did I just, I did, didn't I? When will I learn? Whoa, whoa, hmm. Oops. Oh, it's too late. Six minutes past time. All right. I'm going to play some creatures and then I'm going to go to bed, I think. Okay, CRE. Where are you? There you are. Now, this would be one of my favorite games in the Commodore 64, if not close to the favorite. No, 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 because I'm not a cheater. It definitely is. Oh, the torture screens, to be honest, the torture screens are the best bit about it. Well, and the soundtrack. I mean, that's why they make creatures too. Nothing but, well, not nothing but, but the majority of they had uh, the torture screens for creatures too. Clyde Radcliffe exterminates all the unfriendly, repulsive, earth-ridden slime.
Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. That doesn't look right. I don't want to use this card. Retro is no good. Blend. Sure. Let's try blend. I never quite figured out which way is better to go. Down. Whenever I play this game on an emulator, it never seems to work quite right. Like the sound or the scrolling or something stuffs up. Where's my computer? Use the flame breath so much. Hopefully, I can get up to a torch screen. Sounds a bit gruesome, actually. That's what they were like torch screens. land. That's where I should get. That was their Apex Brothers last game. Com 64 I think. The Rollins Brothers. Steve and John Rollins. They actually did a game dev diary of this game. I remember reading in the old Zap64 magazine. I suppose the new Zap64 magazine, I guess. But they used to do um, articles, and the game developers would write their um, their write-ups of their development progress. I'm pretty sure Zap64 is archived on the internet somewhere. They also did, I think, was it Dave Wittertake or something? It was uh, a Citadel game. It's just interesting. Interesting reading. Of course, back then it was all like... How long was it? it? took him a couple of months to write a game. It was always like a single developer. Well, not always a single developer, but not like the huge teams you get nowadays.
Ah, oh, you idiot. I believe I did that. I do like their non... Ah. <sighs> Playing like an amateur. <laughs> it's alright, I got this two lives left. Sure, I can finish the game. Definitely. It's actually one of the um, most, well, uh, one of the better looking games on the Core 64. Um, so, like, I played Turrican 2, and that's quite cool because <clears throat> the monsters are really mad, or the, the levels are huge, and the bosses are huge. This game <laughs> looks better than Tark 2, I reckon. And not only that, though, but on the title sequence as well, I should have actually showed the Fuzzy Wuzzies dancing. This particular style, the only other game I've seen them do is uh, the other game I've got is Cyber Nine Warrior. Completely different graphic style, it's a different game, but um, he did not fall into the trap of just sticking with the style that worked in his last game or previous game. <sighs> So I haven't I haven't actually seen it yet, but um, he actually uses palette swapping on the scan lines to actually get different colours on the level. And also something else something else they do that that's why I was tweaking with the um, interlacing before is. That rat at the bottom, that's actually not that particular colour it is, it's not actually a um, it, like colour you normally get with Colossus 64. Because I think what he does is he changes between two colours really quickly, so it's grey there. Now if I do bottom field, it's purple there. So what it actually does is so if I go blend, it actually is actually toggling between um, the grey and the purple, whatever color, other color it was. So he gets that color. So you don't actually, with other games, I don't really have to tweak the deinterlacing settings too much. But this game, because of the little trick they do with the toggling colour really quickly, kind of um, shows up. Alright, what I can do here is... Uh,
It's alright, I've got an extra life. And as long as I don't die here, I won't have to worry. Because I'll always get the extra life because that extra life respawns. I never figured out if that was supposed to go through that there. I think it's a bug. Oh, come on. Doesn't matter if you actually die on that thing because it loads the level when you die or we'll kill it. supposed to get that one. I'll survive. This is actually the level where it does pallet swapping. So at the top there you can see the rocks are blue. Then there's like a band that I'm on now that's like whatever is yellowy, red, orange. Then it goes gray and then it goes orange and then it goes brown. So those different levels are that way because he's, what he's doing is he's being tricky and he's swapping the palette of the character. Character set in the like grass lines. The corner 64 could do. Along with, um, obviously, getting more sprites. The corner 64 only had eight hardware sprites. But of course, you get, when you play games, you get more than eight sprites in the games anyway. <clears throat> and the reason being is because what they'll do is they're cheap. <clears throat> As the Corner 64 scanned the screen on the raster lines, you can actually set it up to stop what it was doing and it would move the hardware sprites down on the screen and start it up again. That would make sense. Not making any sort of sense. If I can get to at least the first torture screen, and then I'll just call it a night. Is I getting really tired? I've been up since 
Oh, excuse me, sorry. Jeez. Oh, listen to me, yawning. Stuffed up. I think my camera's stuffed up. I think my camera is struggling. Oh, switch cameras. Just so you can see my lovely view. That's better. <clears throat> Pop up, buddy. Man, come on. Indestructible monster. I like that indestructible monsters. Let's see that there we go. No secrets or anything in this game, really. indestructible and also have to watch because there's a bug when you land on that ground it makes you jump again Oh man, I completely bloody missed it. My wife's obviously a bit hot because she's got the aircon on. Idiot. 
was not what I wanted. Out. That doesn't matter anyway, because I'm just gonna go to the first torture screen, complete it, or not complete it. don't know how to get that one up there, so I'm pretty sure it reveals the secret if you do it, but I don't know how. Ah, yeah. I don't know why it does that slow down thing. It's if I can get to the torch screen. Okay. They put an indestructible bird up there. I do not know. today. Alright, go to the torture screen. I think I've got enough lives. I'll show him getting killed first, just because I'm sadistic. And I'll save him. And I think I will go to bed, because it is 10.30 here. Does anyone actually know what happens to the poor guy? I know what happens, obviously. And I assume Hell's Angel probably knows what's going to happen to him. Place your bets. This was a game sold to children. Yeah. 
Actually, I don't know any game that was actually be that bloody. Ah, oh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I think Mortal Kombat. This is way before Mortal Kombat's time, I think. Save with plenty of time to spare. Alright. That's me for tonight. I'm tired. I've got work tomorrow. And the kids will probably wake me up at 5 o'clock again. So, thank you for watching the stream. Maybe I'll get some time or something to do something tomorrow. Not sure, but thanks very much. I'll say, come on. Thanks very much. Actually, one last thing. To go out with. Just to go out with. I think Andy. <clears throat> I think Andy plays Corner Six Four as well. I think the last thing he was doing was dizzy. But, uh, He'd be one to watch because he actually has original plays with nothing but original games. Let's see if this is quick. I've never actually played Dizzy, so I have to. I should actually play it. I should actually. Uh, I should play some Monty on the Run and Dizzy. I'll have to go through the YouTube channel, and. Uh, Catch his games. Alright. Take it easy guys.